We are back with the Blunder Panda. We are 558. Five, Time to hunt down some dummies. Who do we got? We got the Fago from Arabia. Let's go for e4. Simple chess is the way. e5. Okay, we'll develop the knight and attack the pawn. Keep it simple and cool. Knight here, he defends it. I can go for the three knights, but let's develop the bishop. I can cast it as ASAP, but let's not do that. We got the knight out, we got the bishop out. That is not the way. I think this is the Philidor defense, but it's bad because now the bishop is stuck behind the pawn. He should have got the bishop out or the knight out. Now I can just copy him. This is the difference. My bishop is out and his bishop is just sad. Just very, very sad. Okay, how do we do this? I can either develop the knight or get the bishop here to pin it. Pin is not that crazy as he can unpin it. So we can just develop the knight. Could have castle, but I want to go a bit cheesy. Oh, he pinned us out. Now, if I am a bit too slow, he might go knight here, double attack it and take it to double it. And I did not castle, so I can push the pawn without any fear to kick the bishop back. And I can even go g4, because even if he sacrifice, as long as I have not castled, the king is kind of chill and we can long castle. So, bye bye to the bishop man. Go back home and cry. Now I can pin it, but always he has bishop here, so you know, it doesn't really work. So just put the bishop here, I'm gonna put the queen there in long castle, because short is never an option now. And this bishop is bad behind the pawns, this bishop is bad because of this pawn, and he's just very very sad. Mm -hmm. You got both bishops out. Is that the way? No, that is not the way. Bro has two defenders and we have one, two, three. So that's a three, that's a free pawn. But the question is, which way to take? I can take with the bishop. He takes back and put the knight there. That looks uh, reasonable. Knight in the center, very good. Or I can take with the knight. Trade the knight and put the bishop there. Another good choice. Taking with the pawn looks odd. We double it for no reason. Yeah, tough choice. I do like my ponies. So I'm tempted to take with the bishop and uh, just have a good looking knight in the center. It's a tempting offer, man. Yeah, he takes, we take and we live a good, good pony life. Horses for the dubs. Horses for the dubs. He took, we took, knight in the center, protected by the pawn. He's happy. Okay, we have one pawn up. Still a lot of work to do. Maybe he was bishop here to castle. We can check and we can uh, take or we can just, uh, yeah, he checked. I can take, but I really don't wanna. But I should, right? Yeah, because I don't want to push or block it this way. Push makes this super duper sad and weak. And trade is fine, but then I lose control of this square. Yeah, I, I give my good knight for that bishop. But then after he takes, I do get a free tempo to attack the knight and castle. Yeah, I think all were decent choices. But we chose to, you know, uh, trade. And we are pawn up, so you know. When you're up, trade them pieces. The more you trade, the happier you get. So we take. Oh, sorry, we uh, attack. Oh, we got them tactics. We got them tactics. The queen saves the knight. But the queen also saves this pawn. So, the queen is overloaded. If I take this way, the queen takes. I take and I get two pawns. I'm two pawns up, not one. But this might not be that simple. Because instead of taking, he can do some uh, funky business like knight taking any of the other places. This one won't work. This one won't work because uh, the knight can uh, take back. This one won't work because it's not a check. So maybe I can go crazy desperado mode. So the problem is this one. Because that is a check. I would need to take it otherwise the rook dies. And if the pro takes, what are we doing? Because we don't win this one. The queen is there. I mean, I can keep it simple. Just push the pawn and kick the knight. That's simple life business. No fanciness, no fanciness. Kick the pony, go back, we castle and live a good, good life. Okay, probably he also long castles. Now we can put the queen here because this is not doing anything. And we can attack a good, good center pawn. Even though it's uh, very, very, very defended. Okay, I really want to break the center, but this is kind of weak. I can go here, attack the queen, but queen just goes away. We never win the pawn. The knight is there. Maybe I can go knight here, attack the bishop, or try to sit there. But it kind of feels pointless. Because he moves or he lets the bishop die, not the end of the world. Okay, I thought he let the bishop die because knight here kind of looks good. 
free tempi also we attack the juicy pawn on g7 probably got to go back and save it but it's kind of annoying yeah that's a good good looking knight you know in some world the knight goes away rook goes away we can check use the pin get uh, get lucky not now but someday oh we are kind of cooking earlier bishop here was nothing but now this square is covered also knight is kind of in also the queen is tied to the defense so maybe queen goes to the side and we are cooking some crazy tactics you know push the queen to the depression land and now i'm thinking knight check wins the king and the queen but it's covered so is there a way to remove this juicy defender? Maybe I take on a7. I don't think that is the way, but maybe that is the way. There's no way queen goes this way and just loses the pawn, right? That'd be kind of anti-climatic business. Or he just uh, blunders the queen. That'd be pretty, pretty sad. So no, 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 right? That is the way, right? Pro is not playing. We're panicking. This or the this we just uh, chop the pawn. So blah. Oh, is he looking for knight here? It doesn't work, but it's a solid. It's a bad choice. What solid choice? Oh, he forgot. Oh, I know, I know, I know. He did not forget. Pro thinks I take Mr. Queen. Not a problem. He's gonna focus out, counter attack, and win back the queen. Solid choice. But 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 but. What's the maths? One for us, uh, one for him. If we take back, he take back. So nothing for us. But what about we remove the pony? The problem is we take, he takes back and attacks us again. Yes, I can take, take and just win the pawn. But is that the way to glory land? Is that the way? I don't think so, right? I want to take, let the queen die. But that, wait, wait, I can take with the bishop also. Huh, that's kind of better. Because I do love my knights. I do love my knights. Long live the knight. Nah, let the, just take the pawn and be happy. This way, if he takes the rook, let's say if by some chance he forgot and takes with the rook, we actually just win the free queen. There's no way. Yeah, but but if, you know, what if? Is there a way we don't take the queen? Huh, I should have done that, right? Now I think about it. We could have played something like uh, queen here. Or queen here looking to enter and it could have been uh, kind of interesting. Oh, didn't consider that. Anyways, we enter attack. We can simply take the pawn or now. I mean, queen here, he moves. Yeah, if we had to do this, we had to do earlier because then we had some knight checks cooking up. Uh, but not anymore. So we just take the pawn and stay. Say this. Wait, could we have taken? Uh, I mean, we could have taken g7 and try to clean up the house. Yeah, I feel like we had a better choice. We just kept it simple, a bit too simple. Like we saw the knight, we took it, and now we are two pawns up. But I think there was a better move, like some queen here or some way to take here and try to take this house. Yeah, missed opportunity. Okay, bro is out. Queen and rook lined up. They want to take the bishop. We don't got the protection. Save Mr. Bishop. Can we take the pawn? Never looks like a good idea. He always has this to trap Mr. Bishop out. I guess we can just go here and attack. And uh, let's uh, pick up the pace because we being a uh, pure turtle pace. Queen check is not a problem. We can actually just come back. Could have gone back. Yeah, we wasting some time. Just block with the bishop. Could move, but why be moving? The pawn is there to save the bishop. The bishop attacks the queen. Life is good. Now the big question is, that is the big question. What to do after the queen goes back? We are two pawns up. We are happy as always, but which is the way to victory? Don't tell me queen here is the plan. Looks risky. Might not be a problem. Okay, queen here is the way. We really want bishop here to attack it out, but we don't call it. Just push? I don't know. We take control of the good, good center. This pawn does become weak. Nobody protects him, but uh, we have f3. Yeah, that's why I said we should not have, man. Now we got to save it. The only way is push, he just takes, 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 takes the house. So we got to push it. Yeah, now nobody protects the bishop. Maybe he pins the pawn and wins it. Yeah, the defer was just like random move with no brain. Monkey brain move. That was pure monkey brain. Okay, do we have d5? No, I don't think so, right? Oh, yeah, the queen is going in for the kill. Yeah, he's attacking. We can go rook here to save it, but that's such a chicken way. We got to be the chicken master. I can go here, let him take the pawn and hope for a dreamy attack. Be the chicken. We are the chicken. <sighs> Sad life, but uh, we got to go back and save the pawn. Nothing uh, good for us, man. Mm. 
you are such a chicken man saving everything this is why d4 into f3 was not the way i really don't want to go back and try to offer a trade like we're two pawns up but we're playing like as if we're two pawns down or something okay pro went back no troubles i can push it uh bro cannot take it because the queen protects the bishop so pinwin is not working but we have no idea do we go here try to offer a queen trade is that the idea maybe that is the idea offer a trade if he trade we happy if he doesn't trade we get the pawn on a7 so kind of he got to take otherwise one more free teeny tiny pawn in our backpack or maybe pushes a6 or b6 yeah he said nope but now the pawn is doomed nice and now we have check into take into check into check oh the queen going uh, bananas okay pro is in for the counter attack he can check and chop but he can check in uh do we take i do like takes because one day when he takes this way the f file will be open yeah we're thinking about the future when he takes this pawn the rook will say hello to the king so we check move the king chop a tasty looking pawn need to pick up the pace pro takes we take and pro cannot take back because the rook says hello to the juicy juicer uh check is not that uh, crazy he can go back or maybe go for run probably go back run looks risky do we have any pin win like this now it's protected no pin win for us this is the way for us to attack okay queen check oh pro is on the counter attack no time for us to keep the check and keep the king safe now he's looking for the glory also we can't take the queen is protecting the pawn i thought if he runs we could take but not to be yeah we got to be careful maybe c or maybe block the queen b4 looks risky as the check could lead us to trouble oh the almighty queen looking for the businesses after okay he went back that's fine we see it i mean this just feels fine and whenever he takes we have the open f maybe queen here was the way a bit of a chicken approach but you know just to offer a queen trade maybe that was the need okay he take we take and be happy queen takes bro the king is in the open we do take the bishop he do get the check but we believe oh there's a rook in the corner we forgot about mr rook how bad are we i'm thinking of sacrificing because i believe after queen takes we can just lose yeah we can't do that mm. okay we got to counter attack right bishop here is the way to counter attack we attack mr pawn out i don't like what we are doing rook takes and bro takes this out we can't block but we can go this way he can check oh we made a hot pot mess also bishop here is coming one day to threaten us out mm -hmm. just threatening a simple made in one we got one minute and the 600 is gonna roll us roll us out so rook here is the way to save it probably and then bishop here is incoming we can never push to attack because uh, we kind of pinned so we bad okay we have some ideas oh i thought we had rook here but that's a dead bishop so we have no idea rook here and oh he forgot bro forgot about mr king he was too focused on the counter attack he forgot the queen and the bishop is there and we get the glory before we get cooked next one we need two more dubs and we get receipt okay g3 we can uh we can just go e5 could have gone d5 anyway we just want to center i can push just to bully the knight let's go push to bully the knight if he goes here we just win the knight for sure there's no way probably knight we got to win the knight which is the way i have no idea d5 looks good we cover this 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 is the same as uh, the last one uh, every single uh, square is uh, covered if he attack the knight the knight is dead is the knight dead not wait is the knight dead i think the knight is dead we got the coverage the knight is complete dead if i attack with the bishop or the queen the problem is he has d5 to save it so we need to attack with a piece that is the pawn even though this weakens the king like crazy but don't tell me he has like e3 and if i take he gets to do the queen check into check into our rook business mm, maybe not 
Okay, he just gave us a knight. Let's go for a knight for us. He got a pawn. That's fine. King is a bit out. We go for this cheeky queen here now. Just develop, right? Develop. Yeah, develop the knight. Develop the bishop. Develop this knight in a castle. Stop the trolling. Yeah, we're trolling like crazy, man. Cut down on the troll business. Mm hmm, mm hmm. This is interesting. We want to go and attack, but broke out bishop here. But I do like it because I feel like we can pin it to win it. Hmm. If the knight moves the rook behind. Oh, he got them tactics. Oh, he got crazy tactics. Are we going to risk it? The 500 and the 600 does not uh, know the tactics. The idea is to go there and attack. But the bishop is lined up to the queen. He should take this pawn with a check and win Mr. Queen out. It's a bad idea. He takes and he gets the queen. And we're completely lost. But we still went for it. Why? I have no idea why. Knight check doesn't work because we can take with the queen. So this is how white completely wins the queen and wins the game. Okay, queen here. That is... Uh, a reasonable choice i want to defend it but now we can just trade the house right yeah take it out and uh trade 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 and we are peace up and uh, we live a good good happy life nice nice okay time to castle i mean castle is good but the problem is he can take the knight and uh, literally triple the pawns i mean we are peace up so the more we trade the happier we get so it's fine to take or not to take? Ah, I mean, the pawn is doubled, so it's kind of good. Uh, the more we trade, the better it is. Now I can get the bishop out with a free tempi. Always good. And if he blocks, trade, trade, trade. Happy, happy, happy. Maybe it goes here. Because, yeah, he could have. He could have. Get the last piece, the knight into the play. All the pieces are out. We have extra pony and happiness is ours. The bishop is kind of good. So what are we looking for? Okay, I can go rook here and try to double the rooks. They say rook belong on the double file. Also, the rook protects the knight. If he takes, we don't need to take with the pawn. Rook is uh, kind of there. So the knight is free to go and do his business. Okay, we're going to double it up. Even though it's protected like crazy. And he can never take the corner one. Because we got the push into trapping Mr. Bishop. Let's kick the bishop away from the center. Kind of too good. Yeah, kind of way too good for me. And if he goes back, I want to hop the knight here. Attack this and this. Hopefully we win something. Got triple attack here and a single attack there. Pro saves this, we win that one. Pro saves that, we win that one. And uh, as long as we are pawn up, we are happy. Happiness is ours. Okay, not only we take the pawn, we attack the rook, which is which is pretty good for us. Maybe it goes rook here or here. Oh, rook here kind of... Oh, that also works. Kind of traps the knight out. Luckily, we can push and kick the rook so that uh, the rook has to go back somewhere and the knight is back out. But it was a risky grab. Yeah. Oh, he just hung the rook. Yeah, he wanted rook here thinking this is covered, this is covered, this is covered and the knight is trapped. But he forgot the pawn and can just take it. But yeah, never take pawns like that. I don't think that was the way. Even though we got away with it. You know, we saved the knight. We won the rook. We're just uh, cleaning up at this point. All the pieces are falling off. But this was not the way. He can check. But it's fine. We can just get out. There's no mate. So we can continue grabbing the pawns. No check back rank mate. We are out. Trade. We are happy. So life is the best. Mm. Yeah, he wants to trade the pawn. But he forgot. Bro forgot the bad bishop was the one saving Mr. Rock. And now he cannot. And now this is a freebie. For a rook for the rook. Nice. He takes, attacks the rook. Just save Mr. Rook. Don't go for the pawn and lose the rook. Save it. Maybe look for disco. Could I move the rook anywhere? Okay, where is the mate? 
Uh, we can hop the knight, check the king. Rook covers this, rook covers that. Uh, rook check is a mate, but uh, he can take it. So maybe we can make that happen. Okay, we bring the rook here with the idea to go there. The knight covers this and this. So I think that's a dead uh, king. He can, oh, he can try to run, right? Yeah, he could have run, but oh, that also works. So if I check, he's kind of running, which is annoying. I mean, he got to run, right? Yeah, there's no easy way out. We can uh, check and uh, poke it out and win the bishop. Yeah, we got to do what he got to do. We check, we win, and slowly find the mating technology. King here gives us free check. Is there not a mate? Oh, there is a mate. There is a mate. We cover this, we cover this, we cover this, we cover this. All we need a check. Knight takes pawn doesn't work. The bishop is there. What about the other way? That is the way to the glory land. Next one, who are we getting? Mr. Cart. We get the white. We push the pawn to the e4. That's the way. e5. We hop the knight. f3. Attack the pawn. We got the knight. Defended the pawn. Let's go. We get the bishop out. Develop the bishop. Two pieces developed. Center ours. a6 is uh, random. Never push pawns in the corner just for no reason. Focus on developing your pieces. So we're going to push and get the knight out. Both the ponies are happy. Okay, he went b5 trying to attack the bishop. We can just slide and save it. Maybe he pushes to kick the knight, but he's going crazy at this point. All we want to do is develop. We got the knight out. We can push and finally the last piece is out. Now we can look to pin it. Why not, you know? Even though he has bishop here to unpin it, pin is uh, never a bad option. We can go knight here, try to pressure out the pin, but he has bishop here always. We also have bishop here to pin this one. Does it ever win? Like takes the knight, takes it back, we go pin. What is uh, the pro up to? Maybe he wants to push and kick the pinning bishop away. Now we have choices. We can go h3 to prevent his pin. We can castle because castle is good. Or we can go queen here. Look to castle long and attack this way. Yeah, we have the choices. I like to put the queen here. This way we can castle long. We can castle short. Okay, he pushed it. Do we go back? Because g5 is kind of incoming. I really don't want to go back. And do we take the knight? Nah, we just come back, right? Well, knight takes, he takes, and he's happy. Okay, bro went g5, he's in. He wants to push, let's push, so he can't not push that one. Uh, okay, he's not casting this way. He pushed, so he's not casting that way. He's not casting anywhere, so no castle for him. I can hop and trade the knight and put the bishop there. That's a good, good bishop. It attacks the knight, looks at f7. We're not sure we got it. It's just a trade. He's happy to trade. He can go bishop somewhere left, right, and save the knight. Or even move the knight somewhere like center. Oh, not that way, bro. Bro, 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 forgot. He saw the knight under attack. He wanted to save it. But he put the knight where the queen is looking at. And just like that, by doing absolutely nothing, developing the pieces and just chilling, we win Mr. Knight for, uh, for us. Hmm, that's interesting. The idea is to attack the bishop. We get scared. We save the bishop and we blunder the queen out. We can just take. But I mean, we can take this way also because nobody protects it and we have a check. So no time to take the queen. Okay, to take the queen, to take the bishop, to take what? Everything is ours. Everything is ours. I guess we take the queen. I'm a big, a bit uh, big on trading businesses. We got what? One knight up, one bishop up. The more we trade, you know, one knight in one pawn up. The more we trade, the happier we get. And now we castle. We, I'm going to long castle because it's end game. It doesn't really matter if we castle or not. But the goal to castle here is to get d4. Open up the d as quickly as possible. He liked the d. Give us the d. Yeah. You want to take? Check out the king. Hmm. Not to be the pawn. If I take, he might have bishop here. I guess we can take with the knight. This way the knight can sit here and he doesn't have the f5. Bro is attacking the pawn. Save Mr. Pawn. And now we're gonna go knight here. Okay, that's a freebie. We got two. You got zero. We take this way, this way. Always take towards the center. Also this way the h file for the rook is open. We attack this. Might win that. Maybe hop the knight to f5. Pressure this, this. And uh, double on the d or the h. 
This is looking pretty sweet business. I could take the pawn. Yeah, just take it and go, bro. Why me? We were thinking of some fanciness. But just take the pawn. Attack this. Now, when the knight hops, we're going to get one. Oh, bro wants to pin and win. But luckily, after knight here, we got the knight for... Wait, does he have tactics? Oh, he has some tactics. It doesn't work, but it's there. Like, rook takes... I take and uh, the bishop was dying, but luckily he didn't go for anything crazy. We just traded. We traded back. We we a Brazilian pawns up and a pony up. We got the pressure on the D. We can uh, triple the pressure it out by this way. When the pawn look to slaughter the king out, maybe look for a mate. Maybe get lucky. Rokia kind of saves it. Okay, he didn't save it. So this way or the other way. I think like both are pretty good. I like to double on the D, so we, we put it on the D. Could have uh, taken that way and double on the 6th rank. Okay, now we get to hop the pony freely with a free check. That's always nice. King here could lead to some back rank because this is covered, that is covered. Probably is not there, but could. Some very cheeky cheeky back ranks like king here. We put the rook there. Sneak in for the back rank houses. Yes, this is always covered. The D is ours. So put the rook on the edge. This one or the other one? Both are yeah, both are very good choices. I don't know which one was the better one. All we want to slide the rook, get the king. This check was not working because he could take the rook out and uh, block uh, with the other one. Okay. We get the pawn. Do we take the pawn? I want to go rook here. Just cut off the king completely. And that way we have the same idea again. Rook here, checkmate. He can't block it. Ooh, is that the way? I mean, he's attacking, so we can't do this. But we can go here. The knight defends the rook. Now the ladder is completely set up. Ladder is locked in. He doubled on the C, but he got one rook here, another rook here. We slide the rook there, and we get the king. Nice.